the book of imaginary letters for Rosalind Carter. May I waltz with you so quietly, First Lady, night blindness in the small of our hands. Crayoned into the blue centipedes in the skylight, the old moonshine shackling the thorn flowers. A glitter of froth in golden cups that elope with the tuft of unevenness, stardust and three small cockles in a pocket of gold. That nomadic song that hangs over the magenta of tree angels and blackbirds' hymns. Only these monotonous colors without an eye, only the trolley cars and finger snap of street dust, and the clay bloodied figurines of the cherry blossoms, the please and thank yous of Buddhas born. What of that moonlight on the cross? the sing-song of vainglorious colors, the handwork of the tall sounds. Rosalind, it is snowing, spores of note-takers cutting the umbilicus of thought, half committed to liberty, chaperoning the ever after. Geese gander in their church-like chariots, each on a summer night, gossiping of Solomon's thousand wives. In Tahrir and Sid Buzid, the shelter dogs cry out, the green guide mute in the heart of the shipyard. Each hibernating word candling the night, water wheels, water clock, and a fiddler's unsigned prayer. Songs carry us over one another, posses of wonder and awe. In the butter chatter of frost, I clasp my hands, a moon away, Iguanas close their eyes. A rag seller's yarn keeps me awake. Burrs of light, a scrap of cloth, a thread in the high pasture of green. I call out each doing, each asking psalm. High leashed feasts and seas are born. Small things that fall from the music box. Stray cats on the apron of the moon's gate. A bowing shirk, the grain gray of your hair, old Baptist mom, and the courage of the poorest among us to say I am. How did I come upon you, dreaming in the last days on earth, wildly lovelier than girlish charms? Glory hymns that snatch a libertine straying eye, stumbling with nothing more than a palsied word. An hour move this way forever, lorries, amulets, many lovers' voices, these I remember calling from the eaves. And when I am gone, dear lady, please remember this name, for in all my days I was never less gifted or more uneventfully afraid. Ear to the sweet tumbling that is calling me home, from the book of imaginary letters, hushed in its basket of song.